Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, we got this guy. I have no idea what this guy actually does. Um, plus also, we came to the champ land of the Champa, where, we're, where we still are. They live in caves, yo. The Champa sailors who don't live in the cliffs are no better than cowards. The ones living in the caves will protect Briggs and Obaba without a second thought. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. I'm sensing some classism here. Reveal! Ooh. It's a smoke bomb. It's a sleep bomb! I mean, I said I should throw these out, but... Let's be honest. Unless I'm really r running low on inventory space, that's not probably not gonna happen. All of our men went to sea with Briggs, even my sweetheart. I hope they return soon. Hmm. Reveal! Absolutely nothing. Before, before he left, Briggs ordered me to keep watch in his absence. If Obaba is so worried about Briggs, she ought to send someone to look for him. So who's Obaba? Uh, I don't want to be here yet. I want to finish exploring the caves. Oh, it goes up further as well? Man. Reveal! My husband wants our children to be sailors like him, but I simply won't have it. Someday, I'll be want to be a sailor like my father. My mother hates the idea, though. She'd rather... I bet she just doesn't want you to become a pirate. In, in fact... Wrong one. When I married a sailor, I knew how cruel the sea could be. I can't stop my husband from sailing, but I don't want our children to follow that path. Okay, so it's not just don't want to be a pirate. Huh. Go figure. Anywho? There is actually nothing out here. Ooh, there's a shiny up there, though. Uh, yeah. I'm a... Yeah, that's... The thought had crossed my mind. Families can look at it and see- oh, well that actually makes a certain amount of sense. Hmm. Ooh, waterfall. And up we go! Must get shiny! This probably goes out to the shiny. Shiny! It's a lucky metal! And nothing. That's metal number 12. Looking like a good number now. Not seeing anyone right now. She's concerned about her grandson and doesn't want to be bothered. Is that so? Hmm. I'm sure something will come of that. Reveal! Nope. Okay. Whoops. The topmost floor. I think this is the top floor anyway. What is back here? It is. Ooh, it's like a big well thing. That pit is Obaba's forge. She uses it when she's working metal into weapons and equipment. Cool. So. So, needless to say, we're gonna need to come back here with bricks. Um. But, that's not until later. <laughs> or at least, well, yeah. No, pretty much. <laughs> Before that, though, we have something else that we're gonna do. We could actually just bring Briggs back right now. I think. Uh, yeah, no. I'm completely positive now that I have everything I need to complete everything in that town whose name I cannot remember. Anko? Anko? No, that's like the ruins? Um, look, just a sec. 
J j just a sec. Oh! Oh, it's Alex. I wasn't expecting that. Yep. Uh, yep, that's putting it mildly. That, that's exactly the idea, Alex. Frankly, you creep me out. Um, yeah, well, yeah, what she said. <laughs> Have you come to despise me? Um, I wouldn't say I despise you so much as you, you, well, like I said, you really creep me out. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, she looks familiar. Yeah, it's Karst. What is this, Alex? What's going on? How can I explain this? What's going on is Alex is demonstrating his remarkable foresight once again! I feel like he should have a special voice. A special voice to go with his special hair. <laughs> but no. I got you. Let's see. That guy's Felix. And those girls are Jin and Shiva, which makes him crazy. Super villain. They look like a bunch of unreliable ragamuffins. Wow. Just tell us how you really feel, why don't you, Alex? But now, I believe I may have been hasty in my judgment. Indeedly do. What? You did? Ha. Huh. Uh, evidently so. In fact, I was even thinking of boring his ship at one point. Yeah, yeah, he would. I'm sure. Hmm. And just when I was about to seize the opportunity, <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah. So we came back right, right before he was gonna steal our ship. I mean, it's not like we stole it from Piers or anything. I mean, it's definitely still Piers' ship, right? Uh, no, no. Uh, 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 <clears throat> Seriously, though, Alice sort of creeps me out. Well, among other things, I mean, we've also been to three out of four elemental rocks. Actually, honestly, getting in the orb wasn't that hard. Yeah. Subterfuge. And good problem solving skills. Well, when we can basically, is the answer. <laughs> uh, you're welcome to try. I mean, we only actually have one elemental star. And, come to think of it, I don't remember seeing it in my inventory. So, I can only assume Kraden is holding on to that thing. Mm-hmm. My experience with Satyrus and Minority suggests that, while they were fierce warriors, they were somewhat lacking when it comes to solving the Lighthouse Mysteries. You see, 
lacking in problem solving skills. Not that I can say anything better. I mean, I totally had to look up some of the puzzles, puzzles to climb the Venus Lighthouse. Um, anyway. Look, it's not my fault that they expected me to use mind reading on statues in the Venus Lighthouse! Ugh. Anyway. Yes, I believe he is. Yep, yeah, that's, that's the impression I get. So, it would seem. Yeah, I, I find this arrangement favorable. Okay then. So, basically, to threaten us. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. With Cedric's familiarity gone, you probably felt little pressure to complete your task. I cannot have that. What indeed? With Cedrus and Minority gone, I feel another pair might. How shall I put this? Provide you with the proper incentive to complete your task. I would have I would have gone for the pun and said, "Light a fire under your feet." <laughs> yeah, Alex is a total creep. So it would seem. But we'll always be nearby, pushing you to make your way to the Jupiter Lighthouse swiftly. I look forward to seeing you soon, Felix, somewhere very near the Jupiter Lighthouse. I mean, you know, you could help us get over there. You can fly. Wait, what? I'm right in recalling the, um... Hmm? What about it? Oh... Well, that's kind of too bad. Brayden is a little thick. Babby's dead, yo. I mean, he was like, what, 200? 300? He was really old. <laughs> I mean, Alex can fly, so I'm willing to... I'm willing to take his word for it. <laughs> that he would, um... Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, we couldn't. It's literally impossible for us to get over there anyway, so. So it's kind of a non issue. It is something of a non issue. Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I think he's just a jerk, to be honest. Yeah, but this is Kraden we're talking about. Even with Babby out of the picture, he obviously still wants to go to Lemuria. Although I suppose Alex and his cronies don't actually need Kraden. I mean, he's not an adept, so... Mm-hmm. I do it because I want to. And I must bide my time to strike. I must bide my time for the moment everyone will tru will realize the true genius of Kraden! Super villain. <laughs> uh okay. Let's not say too- I actually wasn't really reading what he was saying, so... I'm quite certain that I could easily diagnose what he is- Wait. 
Oh! I remember what it is now. There's actually no way you would know what, what it is unless you were actually, um... Unless you had played the game before. <laughs> Yep. Yep. We will find out about that when we get to Lemuria. Which will still take a while yet. Uh, having said that, uh, I feel like I lost my train of thought from that meeting. So, I can do Alhal Fra. I can do literally everything here. But, I don't really want to go down there yet. Because I can save myself a trip if I do something else first. Which is... So I may as well, you know, do that. Because right over here, there's this place! Another tower. No, it's, well, sort of. It's the Ankle Ruins. There are stuff here. There's no Ginny here. But there's stuff here. Um... And I want it. Because, it, well, it will save time if I have this stuff now. Ooh, whirlwind! And behind this door, ooh, one of these has got to be a mimic. Empty, empty, and em what? I guess this place is being raided before we came here. Something must be in one of these. No, not cyclone. Use whirlwind. And behind door number two! Still all empty. Seriously though, I'm calling it. One of these is gonna be a mimic. Uh, I'm going with the middle door. Because I think the other two are not actually doors. That appears to. That is what it appears to be to me. Ooh, well, this is interesting. And these guys are game? Hmm. Maybe I was wrong about the order of events. Hmm. Anyway, uh, wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so. Oh? Oh, okay, this is where we will eventually want to be, but not yet. We need to use a different door first. And I'm gonna pull out literally all of these, cause, you know, why not? Pretty much. Now this is probably the mimic. No, it's money. A paltry sum. Uh, okay, this looks like nothing to me, but we'll do this anyway. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing it is. Uh, well, I can use sand here to go up, but I don't actually want to go upstairs yet. I can do stuff on this floor. And it's a minotaur! You look familiar. Man, you're all over the damn place, aren't you? And in this one, nothing. And behind this one, Okay, this one, I think, has something behind it. Oh, yes. Behold! The power of persistence! And also move! What's in that box? I actually don't know. It's hopefully something good, though. And as long as I'm over here, I may as well move the last one. Although, I'm fairly sure there's nothing behind it. Oh, but first, we're fighting a raptor. I mean, a fake raptor, because raptors have feathers, among other things. Um, Mimic? No. Crystal Powder. Even worse than a Mimic. At least a Mimic would give me something marginally useful, like a game ticket or something. You know, I only have like 35 of those, I'd still rather fight a Mimic for one, than get a Crystal Powder in a chest. That should tell you something. <laughs> uh, 
And it is! Uh, uh, really? Wow. That was not worth it. Okay. So. My, fe my gut feeling is that upstairs probably won't have much in it. So, we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, wait, no, it totally is sand, so it might actually have something in it. Let's go over here instead. Um, the close one does not have anything behind it, but the near one may. Really? Really, Felix? You, really? I am not impressed. Oh, it just did that. There we go. I swear, if you miss a game, good. Okay, this one looks like I don't think it is anything. Wait, you know, let's just do this anyway. Yeah, it's nothing. Now, the one next over might be something. Oh, I can't actually... No, I can do it here. Or it might be nothing. No, it's something, all right. Hidden behind door number... I don't even know what number we're on. Oh, well, that's interesting. Hmm, I'm not sure I want to go this way just yet. Oh, actually, I can't. So, you know, that, that simplifies that. Okay, what's over absolutely nothing? How about down here? Um... Kill the armor guy. No, you're supposed to kill him. I mean, you blinded him, so... Oh, he defended? That... That explains a lot, actually. Still, I think he's mostly dead, so... There we go. Okay, so this one. Swing and a miss. Maybe there's nothing behind this one then. Hmm, that is actually a possibility. Nope, nothing. Hmm, go figure. Ooh, what's up here though? Oh, I was hoping- wait. No, maybe this is direct access to the sand. Awesome! With the power of sand, I compel you! Give me something better than a nut! There's something in here as well. Hmm. Okay, that has got to be cursed. It is totally not cursed. What? I guess I'll equip it to Shiba? Man, if this is cursed, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we good. Mmm. On that note, I'm thinking I'm gonna stop off here. Join me next time when we probably complete the ruins. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye!